Okay, so uh, today I'm going to show you uh, what the map builder for the Forgotten Planet looks like. This is a little, this is a little program that I threw together myself, so I could uh, add anything I wanted to do it. So to start with everything, we're going to, to load the default map, and uh, this map is taking use of uh, the full um, the full map size, which is 2,000 tiles. Uh, in width and uh, 1,500 tiles in height, so it's about 100 screens. Okay, so I'm going to show you select tile. This is actually just some uh, Metroid tiles that I'm using temporarily until I get my my tiles for the game from uh, my graphics artist. So, uh, so uh, for starting, when you have a new map, you have to select the slopes and select the properties for them. This is, uh, and here you can see this is different shapes for the slope. So you choose wi which one is uh, is uh, it's looking like the slope you have selected. So you can see this is the 45 de degree angle slope there. And we go back and you select the next tile and uh, so forth. Uh, in the default map I, I have already uh, mapped all these slopes. Okay, and to uh, draw the tiles, you simply select the tile you wish you use, go back to the screen and start drawing with it, like this. This is layer 3, which is the overlay layer, layer 2 is the collision layer, this is where the player walks upon uh, the tiles and checks collision against walls, so this is pr practically the, the wall layer, and layer 1 is the background layer where you can draw background uh, tiles and uh, stuff like that. Okay, I'm going to start with uh, making a simple slope. When you right click you uh, you can get a tile from, uh, from the current selected layer. And uh, I have a spe special tile, I use this one and go to tile properties and set this to fixed slope. So uh, sometimes the player might fall through if you uh, walk on a slope or run on a slope that's why I have I made a thing in the code that makes sure that the, the player won't fall through when he walks upon this this block that's beneath the slope and now we're going to use uh, this create puzzle piece function which, which actually okay I've got to, to delete some tiles from layer 3 okay and uh, the create puzzle piece function takes the start coordinate and then you take the end coordinate to get uh, to get this tile as well you have to go one tile down one tile right like that and you choose which slot you want to save it in and you choose slot zero then I go to select puzzle piece and I have it here and if I want to save to disk I just press save and puzzle piece zero saved okay then I can, uh, I, I can draw with this on the map whatever I want like this quite simple and uh, that's how we create puzzle pieces you draw uh, the piece you want to have and then you just you make a puzzle piece from it and uh, you draw with it on the map so uh, when I have all the t all the tiles from uh, my graphics artist I'm going to build all the, the puzzle pieces or you can also say brushes that I need in order to build, build a level pretty fast Okay, then I'm going to go to place unit. Currently, I have three small units here that I can place in game. This one is a unit that uh, walks around and jumps randomly. It walks on slopes and stuff like that. Then we have uh, this is the flying enemy. Okay, I have to. to this is how current unit one, current unit zero. So I have to go to the next unit in order to, to place the next one. Okay, and then we have uh, the shell biter. in somewhere on the map as well. So that's how simple it is to select your enemy and place it where you want to have him. And you have place player here on the top. And you place him where you want him, want him to stand, like that. Uh, we have select music. Which this one looks in the music map for all the music files. And you select which one you, you wish to use, like this. So we can uh, use troll.org. If this is pressed no music, that means that it will ignore 
the, the music you have selected, but if uh, there is no music playing at the moment, it will start playing the, the file that is selected. So for instance, if you have a map or you have, uh, you have actually loaded a tune you want to, to be played at when you walk in that kind of area, and you make a new map, you click no music, because when you enter that map, the, the current music will continue to play. Uh, we have select background, so you get this one is this is supposed to be your tile PNG by default. And you see a quick view of what the the background is like that. You have lock y axis. This means that you lock uh, the y axis. That means you, uh, the screen will only scroll left and right instead of in all eight directions when you move uh, around. And we have create portal. Uh, with this function you uh, you can move your player on within the same map or you will load a new map and you type in the name here that you want to have called uh, save long or load shapes 2 and you don't have to, to put, in, put in dot map because it will do it automatically uh, sorry and then you have to go to the new x position and the new y position and type in where the player is supposed to to go so for that you have the load um first of all we, we can save this map like gonna rewrite overwrite test there and then we can take load shapes too and we can see where where do we want the player to go since the player is three tiles high we have to make sure that you see uh, you get the right x and y position so x will be zero see down here and y will be tile one when he enters the map, so we, we load our test again and we enter the values here x was 0 and y position was 1 and we just place the portal where, wherever we want and when the player walks on this he will uh, automatically be transformed into uh, the, new, uh, the new map and on the position we entered and we have also have some tile animations. I only have two at the moment, and this is water animations, which I have to um, uh, to put more of them in game. But we have uh, I selected a tile, and when I place this tile, then this animation will be drawn in its place. So I only have two animations. This is the water, and this is the top of the water. So this is obviously this one. Then we can draw some water, whatever we like. To. As you can see, it's transparent, and we can uh, make another animation here as well. Okay, go back and we place the water on top there, and you can make puzzle pieces of, of this as well. Gonna make a new one. I can click the little one like that. Okay, slot one. Okay. And we can take this animation and, and draw with it as well on the screen. So it's uh, it's still in the making, but it works quite okay, I think. So uh, this was the small map video I made for the for the blog, and I hope you will continue to follow my my game process. Until uh, the next vlog then.